Sandwiches back over Dragon Park. it up and uh, Dolan gets it across Dimitru floats it in Amond is there oh what a beautiful goal in the 33rd minute for Newport County Ball along the ground to the edge of the area to Ainley and then there's uh, a foul uh, well don't tell me Brett Huxtable has given a penalty to crew but it's asking an awful lot as the uh, experienced Paul Green will take it. And Joe Day saves! And, and justice has been served! Joe Day saves! And in the melee after it, uh, David Pipe uh, takes a knock on his right leg. The end result will be a corner to Crew. Headed over the top, and this is on now. And it's 1-0, and it's a great goal for Amand. In power of Amand, he's hit it, he's capitalised on this. And rolls it out to Fraser Franks. Franks plays the ball through, finds Backinson. Backinson plays it to this side, to uh, Hornby Forbes. Plays a good ball through and he finds Franks. Franks plays it into Amand, touches it off to Backinson. Backinson plays it through to Dolan. Dolan looking, plays it through to Sheehan, touches it on to Butler. Good football. One touch, Butler steps inside. Plays the ball out. Backinson touches it back to Butler. Butler plays it in. Good football by County. It's through. It's with Amand. 2 0. And it's a great goal from uh, Amand again. He's taken it in the 22nd minute. As the ball goes to the far side, it's headed. 3 0. And it's an absolute beauty. And it's Jamil Matt with the header. He holds on to it beautifully. Semenyo turns between two defenders. He shoots, 4-0. What a great goal from the youngster. It's over now. Semenyo with the fourth. He's done great work. Forward, looking for Marsh Brown, who doesn't get there, but he does now. And he lays it off beautifully. It's with Harris. Harris, he's going through. Harris, 1-1. Yeah. One, one. Harris has equalised for County. He's, he's equalised. He's buried it. Harris has buried it, he's taken the ball on and he's beaten Pym and the 350 fans rise as Harris has smashed it past Pym. Plays it out Baldwin on the right here and uh, goes past Butler, crosses in and it's going to be a goal, very well John taken. Stead. Kane Hemmings. Newport move all their outfield players into the North County half, in comes the corner yes. and it's down and it throws the flag. 1-1. One, one. Finding Duffy. A poor back pass by Duffy. Amund has it, plays it infield. Chance here. Yeah. Harris has scored. It's 2-1. Set up by Poultry Amund. Grizzly going forward on the overlap. Cross coming in. That's not a bad one. Chance here in front of goal. And that's the equaliser for Notts County. to take it. We're into the fifth minute of stoppage time. Throwing taken short to Forbes. 
cross coming in towards the far post. Headed across. Goal! Yes! In. Jamil Matt! Jamil Matt has equalised in the fifth minute of stoppage time. And that is what you call a Matt finish. Oh my goodness! They keep it late in getting goals against Notts County. But that one just about sums up the night. Think of this free kick. Sheehan standing over the ball. But it looks as if it'll be Dolan to take it. Hammond and McEwen, who are best friends, are both having a stare off. So we're ready to take the free kick. And it'll be Dolan. In he comes, left footed. That's not a bad one. Oh, it's oh. a goal! One now to Newport. Ready, Dolan. Ball played through, it's a good one, it's with Backinson, 1-0! Backinson has got in his first goal for the club, and Backinson has scored for County. on the right wing and so Wilmot goes one way then crosses in Matt's up there and oh the Chelsea keeper made an absolute howler in it comes into the middle Matt's there and he scores and County go 2-0 up Semenio goes up comes away with the ball shoots and it's there! Newport County have got a third goal. Antoine Somenio in the second minute of added time. And uh, played to Giovanni Brown who turns just inside the area and scores. Puts it upfield to Giovanni Brown. Lamb comes forward again. Gets beyond Dan Butler on the edge of the area. He turns and it's goal number two! It is! And it's goal number two for Reggie Lamb. Gets the cross in. Not a bad cross if there was any. And there was penalty. a penalty! And it's a penalty! Ford trying to make himself bigger. In comes Dimitriou. Yes! Scores! And David Ford got one. one. Cambridge United two. Still Butler coming forward. Low cross in. Takes a deflection. And it's there! It is the equaliser! And it is Podrick Amond! Semenio takes it quickly to Butler. Crosses in, Matt is there, gets a header in, and it's there, goal number three for Newport County. Here goes Butler then, left footed from the right hand side. Hand in the air, floats it in, and it's there! I think they get rid of it, I'll tell you in a minute, it's Jamil Matt again, Rich. In it comes from Fitzpatrick. Cross, and it's there. Macclesfield have scored. And the ball's now through, and the referee has given a penalty to Macclesfield. One from Fitzpatrick. Up he steps, and straight down the middle, and it's 2-0 to the visitors. So this time, Cooper 
can take the corner. Right footed short to the near post. Hammond turns it back. Shot coming in. Fantaza has scored. Downfield it comes. And Ammon flicks it on. And Matt is there. Another it's a penalty, penalty to Newport. Matt is brought down inside the area. Dimitri steps up. And it's there. Newport County have equalised. In the uh, 60th minute. In it comes. Right footed. High across the face of the area. Penalty. It's a penalty. Handball by Fraser Franks. I think it was Demetrio. It's Fitzpatrick against Day. In he comes and scores. And Macclesfield take the lead. Day hits it high and deep downfield. Cleared away by the Macclesfield defence. Headed forward by Demetrio. Backinson gets the corner. Yes! In. There's the equaliser. Jamil Matt! Jamil Matt! and a half minutes in the stoppage time. And you have a little bit of a better spell now as it's with Frank. Backinson, Backinson, Demetrio carries the ball forward on halfway, plays it to Butler, carries it inside, back it goes to Demetrio, inside to Backinson. Backinson looking again, has to play it square to Bennett. Backinson give and go, plays it forward to Amond. Amond wins the ball, gets it to the far side, and he does well. Wilmot, he evades Mills, and he's done really well. It's with Amond. Amond! Oh, yes! Harry Amond, very good goal for County by Amond, but it's Wilmot who's caused the problems. Gets headed away, but Dolan will pick it up again to Backinson and Dolan shoots oh what a goal what a goal Matty Dolan by Demetrio he goes forward still going forward plays it forward comes to Semenya oh what a goal what a goal what a goal Semenya has scored right footed shot drilled into the keeper's bottom right hand corner what a strike by Andrew Semenya But he elects for Semenyo. Semenyo takes it neatly. He crosses it. And it's in. It's 1-1. And it's Jamil Matt. He's drifted in at the far post. And he scored the equaliser for County. Jamil Matt. Dressing room area. Dolan kicks it off to Wilmot. Puts it across to Semenyo. Brings the ball down. Back to Butler. Playing it up to Jamil Matt. Lays it off for Butler. First time across field to... Uh, Podrick Ammond lays it back for Semenya. Now comes out to Wilmot. Shoots across. And Barry Walsh. And the ball is in. And it is Podrick Ammond. Uh, Oliver plays that through. Forbes misses it. Oh, no, it's Ellison. Oh, yes, it's Ellison. <laughs> 77 minutes. Semenyo off pack going forward into the area can he get the shot in took one step too many tries the shot and scores and in Wilmot Franks continuing to go forward the cross comes in from Wilmot header in by Harris and that's 2-0 played eight minutes of the second half 
So Dolan will take this. It'll be a left-footed in swinger from the Newport midfielder towards the near post. Head in in the cross goal, and Matt has scored. It was flicked on by Ammons. And eight minutes into the second half, Matt gives Newport the lead. And the ball with Backinson, 15 yards inside the Colchester half. That's a good ball forward, a chance here. Ammon, that's a goal for Cameron Prick. It's 2-0. Supposedly, he would have to say they probably have deserved it on their chances in the game as a whole. Antoine, you in. Semenyo, 2-1. What a great goal. What a great goal. Semenyo has simply buried it. The ball has fallen to him. That's a great strike. Crofts, across to the left-hand side, where he finds Butler. Butler cuts across field. Plays it now to Sheehan, who shoots, and it's there! Josh Sheehan scores! Four minutes, 45 seconds. Newport just leaving David Pipe back in the centre circle. In comes the free kick, high towards the far side of the area. Frank heads it forward. Oh, yes! And it's in! It's 2-1! Oh. Butler playing the ball forward. Backinson, halfway line, nice sail. Backinson going forward, strongly towards the corner of the area. Can he get the cross? And he can. Look. Oh, yes! Oh, and it's put in by Ammon. Patrick Ammon! What a God. shot! What a goal from Patrick Ammon! Every Newport County player is in the Wrexham half apart from the goalkeeper Joe Day. In it comes, back post. Headed in and it's there! Newport County go in front! Podring Hammond, I do believe! Now up to Jamil Matt, who uh, gets robbed, but Butler gets it back again, and Backinson plays a ball over the top, and uh, Amond. Gets it back across, falls to Wilmot, and then Matt scores! And Josh Laverty is going to come on shortly as Franks back heels that to Amond. A crossbar, and it's an own goal! Own goal! Fight has it. Playing it inside to Backinson, the ball played across the centre circle. Forward comes Butler. He tries the shot. Oh, oh what a goal from Dan Butler. From about 35 yards. Mike, uh, overnight, uh, Podrig Amon, the contract news. How pleased are you that uh, he's staying another year? Uh, look, I think it's great news for the football club. Um, he's very talented and I'm glad he's triggered his deal. Um, goes to show that you know, we try and put the right things in place. Um, and it's rewarded him as well because he's been very consistent since he's been here. And with him, it's not just about his goals, is it? His work rate is... Yeah, he, look, he's a very, very good professional, and you know I'm really surprised he hasn't played higher in his career. He's um, he's an outstanding professional. He's sending old now. He's a student of the game as well because you know he's very interested in the the coaching side of things, um, and that comes across in you know the questions he asks. He's he's always looking to find out more information about the way it works on the other side, and I think that's helping him in his game as well, if I'm honest. How big a game is this for you then on Sunday? It's huge. It's, um, it's a great game. It's, uh, it's a free hit. It's, um, nobody's really expecting us to, to win, but nobody's 
was expecting us to get anything against Spurs last year um, or Leeds come to think of it so um, you know it's uh, it's exciting um, and hopefully the boys go out there and show what they can do because on their day um, they're very capable of raising their levels Franks gets it forward, Hammond helps it on, Matt plays it wide, finding Wilmot on the right, and it's going to take on Fuchs, gets the cross in, danger hit, Matt! and then Matt has scored, for new ball. And I tell you what that was all about, Robbie Wilmot on the right wing, having the pace to get past Christian Fuchs, Pinpoint cross comes up into the box. Jamil Matt from around about the six yard line heads it into the keeper's right hand corner. No chance for Danny Ward. Newport County are in front, Richard. Geezer on the halfway line playing it wide to Old Brighton. Getting oh the dear. Cross in. Danger here. It's going to be a goal. No. Saved Save by Tay. Oh, but That's then blasted into the net by Geezer. And Joe Day had no chance with that one. Saved the initial one, but the uh, follow-up, no chance at all. David Pipe with the ball. Semenio coming forward towards the edge of the area. Plays it left. Finds Nerfville. He gets the cross and it's blocked. It's a penalty! Handball by Cowdery. Goal scorer Podrick Hammond will be taking this penalty kick virtually five minutes before the end of the half. And the crowd are on the feet. We can. Uh, Richard's having difficulty seeing. Chris Cavanagh, make sure everybody's behind the line. So the, the penalty whistle. to be taken by Ammond. It's there! <laughs> and the club's leading goal scorer in the 85th minute puts County in front. Danny Ward dived the wrong way. Giving it wide to Nerfield. Moving forward, he goes down. And there, there is the whistle, and Newport County have beaten Leicester City by two goals to one. similar to the Tottenham game wasn't it apart from the end <laughs> it had traits of it actually yeah um, if you watch our first goal it was a carbon copy of the goal we scored against Spurs just um, Robbie Wilmot cross this time it was Jamil Matt instead of Podrick Armand and then um, you know we, sh we created a few more chances first half we should have gone in more than one up um, saying that Joe Day did make a good save in the first couple of minutes but then um, second half I felt quite comfortable um, you know, it was more crosses from deep or long shots than, you know, splitting us open. And once they get back to one all, you do worry. You do think you've got to hang on. And I actually said, right, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. And the players listened. Well, 
I don't know if they heard me actually, but thankfully they went down the other end and we got a penalty. He'd like to see you go a lot further in the, uh, in the competition. I don't, know, I don't know if my nerves can handle it. Um, <laughs> It's never, it's never a dull moment at this football club, honestly. We're either excellent or we're really bad. Um, there's no in between, you know, not even with the fans. It's either the points full or the points empty. There's, there's no half points, and uh, we've just got to manage that expectation. We've got to be lucky in the draw, either way, whether you know we get somebody at home who we should be favourites for, or we get one of the big boys away. So it's good for the finances. That's that's the most important thing. Thank you very much. Can you describe what that atmosphere was like for you and the players hearing that noise behind you for you know ages before kickoff and obviously during the game? It was electric. You know, they, they got right behind the players. Um, they didn't stop. They sung their hearts out. I bet there's a few more sore voices or voices gone than just myself. Um, they had, you know, they've been brilliant. You, you get the odd one or two moan, um, but You've got to take that with a pinch of salt. You can't keep everybody in, li uh, in life happy, and um, you've got to concentrate on the, the ones who really get behind you when the when the times are bad as well. How will you uh, celebrate that with the family? Or yeah, um, I think the wife's managed to get a babysitter, so we will go for some food. Um, I'm saying now, I've just heard my little my little ones being with the um, with the doctor all second half. He's cut his nose or something, so I am quite I am I'm found out. Yeah. Um, I don't know. He's only 16 months, but he's he's crackers, Samuel. He, um, <laughs> honestly, he's. My wife said he's a mini version of me, so that's that's, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Striker, your relish penalties because it's could be it's the best opportunity for you to score. It's a free shot, 12 yards out. Just make the keeper work. Um, hit the target. If he saves it, he saves it. You know, so be it. But make him make him save it. Don't. You know, I suppose hit wide or, or over, just hit the target, and, and and thankfully it went in. And when it went in, it was just it was kind of a relief and a Euro, euphoria for every, for everyone in the in the ground, um, yeah. because the game was very eerily like last season's game. Yeah. Um, even down to the goal, the first goal we scored. Is, <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's a carbon copy, but it's Robbie cutting down the right and 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 crossing in and. I probably had the best view of it because I was right behind Jama, and the minute he's headed it, it's going in off the post. It's a, it's a hell of a lot better goal than my header last year. I mean, honestly, because he's, he's guided it back um, across the goal. Um, it's a fantastic header, but that's the quality that, that the two players have. You know, Robbie is probably the best crosser of a ball in the league, and you know, in Jama, he's one of the, the deadliest finishers as well. So it was a, it was a great start for us. Um, Am I right in thinking? Did I read some of your sports journalist yourself? Yeah. Do you still have a column? Yeah. Carlo yeah, I have to go back and do it for Tuesday. Yeah, Tonight, right. yeah, it has to be set. Yeah, it has to be has to be uh, submitted before tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's going to be a quite sore ahead doing it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, I, I, I've done that for the last seven, eight years. Um, yeah. Just where I'm from is a small place, so it's just a local play, yeah. paper once a week, and and uh, just about everything and anything in football. Um, Pretty easy to decide what this week's column's about. Yeah, I might do it on on five in a row for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as Man United manager. So we'll leave it at that one, maybe. There is in there's, there's a I'm going to give him a shout out. There's a local bar to me, Tully's Tully's Bar in Carlo. And last year they done a, a promotion that when when I scored not if against Spurs there was a free drink for everyone in the in the in the pub, and they've done it again this year. So it cost them a few quid, um, but. <laughs> Great promotion for them, so this is their little bit of yeah. um, advertising back. So my mum and dad were watching the game in there today um, with um, my fiance's parents and stuff like that. So it was uh, there's quite a, quite a lot of people there, and I've just I've had a quick look at my phone, and I haven't even got to the root of any of the messages yet. But there's quite a few things on it, so I just need to sit down in a dark room tomorrow and go through them all.
take it. Right footed, high into the area. Oh yes! Jones here, and it's Matt who has scored for Newport. 1-0 they lead at to the City. 26 minutes gone, second half. And Jamil Matt scores his 15th goal of the season. Number 30. Middlesbrough. It's now eight times in a row that they've been drawn at home in the cup. Number 16. And going to the Riverside will be Newport County. Middlesbrough, the championship against Newport County. Number 20. Manchester City are at home. Thrash Rotherham 7-0 at the weekend. Number 24. And Manchester City will be at home to number 24, and that is Burnley, an all-Premier League tie. How has the, the build-up so far been to a very big week for yourself and this football club? It's all right, until I just got out my can, fell on the floor, slipped on a bit of ice. So, um, yeah, it's been really good. Well, um, you know, they had a really good session yesterday. Um, and it's always nice coming, going into it off, off the back of a win. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's gone all right so far. But you know, it's never too. Uh, I'm never going to get carried away because I'm sure something will happen before the game on Saturday. In terms of fitness, I'm sure that every single one of your players is going to tell you that they're absolutely 100 percent and they're ready to play. I know you had concerns about Fraser Franks at the weekend. Well, I wouldn't believe them if they said that. Um, so, like, there's a couple who are struggling. Um, and I'll pick the team that I think can get us a result up in uh, Middlesbrough. It's going to be tough, but we'll give it a go. Do you park it all to one side and treat this as a one-off, or is this something of a continuation? I'd like to say it's a one-off, but um, the boys keep raising the bar and, and making sure it's not a one-off. You know, you, they deserve all the credit that I can give them, um, and I'm sure they are getting it from from the supporters as well. What they've done last. Uh, the, you know, last year, 15 months in, in the FA Cup, it's been a, a phenomenal um, set of results, and we're going to go there and give it our best shot. It's going, like I said, it's going to be really tough. Um, you know, we haven't got the advantage of the home crowd, the home comforts. Um, we've got to travel, but it's a football pitch with two goals and 22 players. You have got a long way to travel. You're going up earlier in the week. What's your plans from then on? Look, we're going up early. Um, you know, get the boys to have a more of a relaxed journey up. Um, train Friday, and then make our uh, our way further up to the hotel. Um, it's like any other away game. Then it's um, three o'clock kickoff, and on the Saturday and after after Thursday, it's um, it's a normal a normal preparation. Michael Flynn in his technical area. Tony Pulis is in his. Who's going to come out the happier tonight? The ball is played back to Dan Butler as we're underway here. Butler plays it left-footed as Backinson wins that ball in the air. Ball falls and it's neatly with Semenyo. Semenyo takes the ball wide. What can he do? He crosses it down to Amandu. Shoots! And he shoots just high and wide. And the uh, free kick. Two county players trying to stop the short corner. One is Amon, the other is Wilmot. Stopping Fletcher, sorry, Downing as the ball goes in long. And uh, they've scored! And the home side have scored. It was a simple goal at the far post, and Middlesbrough have their goal. And it's a little poor goal, really, isn't it, to give away? And he does find Semenyo, turns beautifully. Semenyo running into the box. He gets past one, he can almost gets past two. He's having his jersey tucked, but he works it to Sheehan. He in turn works it, far side, oh what a chance for Semenyo and he's placed it over the bar after the ball is worked, has that the final chance, here comes Matty Dolan, Dimitro is coming off, Matty Dolan is coming on, playing back at the club he started at, at Middlesbrough as a youngster, Matty Dolan comes on, Dimitro is on, we are Probably a minute and a half away as Butler plays it across. He finds Regan Poole. Poole carries the ball. He carries it forward. It still remains 1-0. Regan Poole, you've got time. You can move it. He plays it to the far side. 
where Semenyo takes it beautifully out of the air. He finds Sheehan. Sheehan is in space. He plays it forward. And there's a chance. It's yeah. Sheehan! It's yeah. equalised! County with Matty Jolan is equalised! They've equalised! County have got the goal! In the, with one minute left. Amazing. Dolan. Amazing. I think it's Dolan, isn't it? I think it was. It's so scrappy. There was two or three on the floor. It's Dolan who's what? got it right Amazing. in front of the fans. Oh, my word. It's Amazing. Matty Dolan. Amazing. Dolan has put the ball in. Oh, my word. Matty Drama. Dolan Drama. at Middlesbrough. Look at the time. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> The referee was still looking at him as Downing plays it inside. Ball is out into Tash County. Have a throw in. It's loose. They're booing. They are booing. Here it is. The yes. County have their replay. It is 1 1, and we have taken them back Amazing. to Rodney Parade for, I'm sure, a televised replay a week on Tuesday night. Oh my word, what drama, the script was written for Matty Dolan to come on and get the equaliser, the Middlesbrough born boy has done it and now it's Middlesbrough who've got the difficult trip and County are in the draw for the fifth round on Monday, oh my word. Oh, it's unbelievable. You, you can write that because the boy who scored, Matty Dolan, ex Middlesbrough player, um, Middlesbrough lad, 40 of his family in the crowd. He's disappointed that he's not starting, and I don't think he's ever scored a goal in the box. Um, so um, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, it's, it's a fairy tale, really. Emotions at the moment. Yeah, obviously, uh, still a bit in shock. Pretty special moment for myself, but I think it was what we deserved in the end. So. Yeah, it was a pretty special moment, so I'll probably uh, find out what it feels like tomorrow when I look back on it. Talk us through the goal and the, and the celebrations that followed. Uh, I think she's is with the crossing, a bit of a goal mouth scramble, and really got a nosebleed being that eye up, but I just managed to slot it in the bottom corner, and then afterwards it was, uh, it was me and the other fans who went to celebrate, and it was, uh, it was incredible scenes, I think. Those scenes of the final whistle with the fans? Oh, no, no. The amount of fans we've brought up here for such a distance, not so long after Christmas, goes to show how special they are. Um, you know, 12, nearly 1,300 fans is uh, an exceptional uh, away following you know, to Middlesbrough. And I can't thank them. They did not stop singing from the first minute, from the warm-up actually, to the 95th. Number 11. Number 11. That's Middlesbrough or Newport. They need a replay. Newport got a last gasp equaliser at the Riverside. Number 12. And Middlesbrough or Newport get the Premier League champions <laughs> Manchester City. <laughs> Middlesbrough or Newport will take on Manchester City. How happy is that? Up commentary for the first period of the first half. Charlie Brown. Thank you, Richard. Along the right hand side, Cross comes in, appeal for a handball, it's not given, and then Matt has a shot. And they play it short to Butler. Back again to Wilmot, low cross in, Amont. Driven in, and oh! Constant Topolis 
Butler takes it quickly and gets it out to uh, Wilmot crosses into the box header comes in and Amund is in there Constantopoulos comes out finding Poole in space coming forward chipping the cross in danger here and it was almost a goal it's gone for a goal kick good ball away to the far side finding Wilmot moving forward trying to take on Frem coming inside him can he get the cross in he can the header from Amund is brilliantly saved by goalkeeper Dimitri Constantopoulos headed away to Dimitriou on the far side by Wilmot he gets the cross in Ooh. and the header just over the bar from Matt landing on the roof of the net holding his right arm aloft to signal him what he wants to do left footed in swing a high towards the far post oh. and it's headed behind off Dimitriou's head that is the whistle for half time and Newport can consider themselves well satisfied with that first half. Well let's just hope they can maintain what they've showed us in the first half in the second half. A Newport kick off. Eventually Ayala getting the cross in. Cleared away by the Newport defence and it's headed forward to Wilmot, Wilmot going forward, he's going to take on three defenders, eventually tries for a shot, it's scored! <laughs> Wilmot has scored! Newport lead! One minute, 35 seconds of the second half. Robbie Wilmot. And Newport lead by one goal to nil. So Gestad coming back to help out Middlesbrough have everyone back on the edge or in their own penalty area. And it'll be Wilmot to take it. And he comes, right footed, drives it low. Oh yeah, it's a goal for Newport! Hammond! Hammond! Has made it 2-0. 21 and a half minutes into the second half. I wonder if Peckle will like coming here, Richard. <laughs> Unbelievable! 2-0 to County! We approach the three-minute mark. There is the whistle! And Newport County have beaten Middlesbrough by two goals to nil and reached the fifth round of the Emirates FA Cup for the first time in 70 years. described that as the best performance he's seen in 60 years well for somebody like Tim Freeze to say that who follows the club um, all around the country gives his um, his time up um, for, for no pay he is a true supporter um, for him to say that that makes me probably the proudest man in Newport tonight were you worried at half time you've missed too many chances I wasn't worried um, I was a bit apprehensive I'm not going to lie um, but I said to the players, I said, you cannot create that many good chances in the first half and not have another one in the second half. So keep believing, you're going to have another chance and you've got to start on the front foot like we have done. What's it going to feel like when you see Guardiola on the touchline, five yards away in the Man City players walking out? I don't think it's a bit surreal. We're getting used to it now, aren't we? <laughs> um, we we've had uh, Mauricio Pochettino. 
<coughs> we've had Claude Pluel, um, Thomas Christensen, Leeds. Um, look, they're all fantastic people, fantastic managers. Um, but this is the creme, creme de la creme. Uh, he is, he's a master. He is somebody I just idolise. He's probably the best in the business, and I'm going to say along with Jurgen Klopp because I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, but I know Mikel Arteta. He's just he's just messaged me. Good luck. See you soon, which is uh, fantastic. We, we've done our pro license together, and that goes to show you how down to earth they are. They're a fantastic outfit, and knowing Pep, not knowing him personally, but knowing how good he is, I'm sure he'll overcome that pitch. Finally, finally just Joe Day. Can you tell us? Did his wife go into labour before the game started? What, what? No, I don't think so. Um, but he did turn his phone off. Um, he, he was fully focused. I thought he was excellent tonight. And as soon as the whistle went, he's run up to me and said, can he go? And I said, of course you can. Do you want to lift? Um, he sprinted off. It's the quickest I've seen him move, actually. Um, but listen, my, all our thoughts with um, Joe and Lizzie and the arrival of the twins because if if they come tonight what a what a special special birthday they love occasion really the first half i thought they just completely and utterly run over us um you know, they dominated the game in every aspect in every respect it's a great result for newport it's a great result for the town a great result for everybody else um and like i say it, it shouldn't be a surprise or it shouldn't have been a surprise to the players because they've done it to a premier league team Never mind a championship team. Coming up from the Newport wing back. Butler then left footed towards the near post. Ammon lays it back. Chance here. And that's a goal for Robbie Wilmot. He hit that superbly. 15 minutes gone. And Wilmot smashes the ball in. We won't just be sitting back, uh, no chance. I'd rather, I'd rather get thumped, um, doing it properly, than you know losing one nil with no ambition. Uh, we wanna, I wanna give the supporters something to cheer about, and these players have got to believe, which I know they do, that we can cause an upset. You've got the most famous twins in the world. Um, are they going to be there? Yeah, Lizzie's coming along with the twins, so um, yeah, they'll come along. Little boy Harrison as well, and a few family members. So yeah, that, they'll be the first game, and what a game for their for their first. Going to struggle a bit there. There's only one ticket left. So. <laughs> yeah, one of the twins. They're going to swap at half time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my still, still young, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally that was it. Yeah, um, yeah, it's shock, but it's just incredible. Like, I think we count ourselves very lucky. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's extremely pretty, rare, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you haven't got time to set up two, I don't think you have, because we need to get cracking. We can't do two, no. Um, we've only got ten minutes. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, I, understand, I do understand, but it's just like, oh. It's just an awful lot you're trying to scram. If you go over your door, I don't care. It's, it's going to be a tough game regardless. Um, we just have to look first and foremost, put in a performance that we can be proud of ourselves. Any more uh, corner routines signed up? We'll work on a few, yeah. yeah. We'll work on a few. <laughs> just try and win a corner now. So yeah. the, um, but yeah, no, it looks that's, that's stuff. Uh, hats and the gaffer will, will, will work on. Um, and yeah, we'll do a little bit of work uh, this week on it. Is that it. one of your best goals of your career, do you think? Oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Right. Yeah, I think it was just everything, everything about it. Like it, was a, it was a clean strike, good finish, but then it was in front of the cameras. The goal, you know, to kind of clinch the game, to put us into the next round against Man City. Yeah. Um, and it, once you put add it all together, I suppose, it, it's definitely the best goal of my yeah. career, yeah. Um, I knew that like, there's a split second before everyone else. Like when I hit the ball, I know yeah. the ball is going into the net, but no one else on the ground knows it or no one on TV knows. Um, yeah. And I know it straight away and, and that's one of the best moments or best things you can you can yeah. ever, if you can bottle that feeling, you, you make that one. Yeah. That. Can you kind of put into words how big a, how big a deal this is? Well, it's enormous. I mean, it's enormous for the, the club, it's enormous for the, the city and everybody associated with both the club and the city. I think that, you know, it's what the FA Cup's all about and it's what dreams are made for. Who would have thought that little old Newport County AFC are playing Manchester City, yeah, Manchester City, uh, here on Saturday in the FA Cup. It's just fantastic. Given the little sojourn you had in the supermarket, I mean, is money a little bit easier now you're here playing full time again or um, do you know what it was like I said I took a lot for granted when I was here before and you do think that the contracts are just going to keep rolling over and rolling over and it obviously it was a big shock um, I got to a point when I was playing part time and I said to my dad that you know I can't live off what I'm what I'm earning football wise so I had to go out and get a job and I think there's a lot of players who would probably struggle to would struggle and carry on just playing yeah. football but I've got a real I've got a realistic mindset I've got a realistic family and they said you know you need to go out and you need to you need to work as well but yeah obviously now I've, now I'm back playing for football, like professional and full time and I've got a new contract and like money is a lot a lot easier than what I had and um, you know I'm, I'm only uh, thankful to the club for, for giving me that opportunity. So he's finally here. You can finally concentrate on the on this match now after after the league campaign uh, takes a break. Um, how are you feeling? Okay. I'm looking forward to it. It's it would have been nicer to have gone in, you know, with a with a win that I thought we thoroughly deserved last night. We we played some outstanding football and created so many chances. And I think um, I think you know after watching it that. We should have won the game. It's you know it's um, one of them one of them evenings that you know we've got to take the positives out of it that we the amount of chances we created. But yeah, it leads on now to Saturday, and what an occasion for the whole city. It's not just the football club, supporters, you know the board, the players, the staff, everybody involved with Newport County um, and Newport Newport City. It's going to be a fantastic occasion.
it down to Sane, flicks it on for Gabriel Jesus, knocks it infield then to Sane, now with Jesus on the edge of the area to Sane, Jose made the save, it's blocked, but goes into the back of the net. Downfield by Day is won by Manchester City, ball is played forward, and forward comes Foden, towards the edge of the area, can he get the shot in, he can, it's gone in, it's 2-0. Chance here for Ammon, it's going in, yes! Off the keeper, and Newport has scored! He's scored in every round of the FA Cup this season! Podrick Hammond, that's what the Newport County fans wanted! They wanted a goal! Just one goal to come out of this game! And it's Ammon who gets it! It's Newport County 1, Manchester City 2. And how long have we got, Rich? Two minutes of normal time plus stoppage time. Sane has it. Allowing Foden to go forward. Foden could get the shot in here. He does. And he scores. It's 3-1 to Manchester City. Yeah. Playing that infield. Stones chips it forward. Morris with the shot. Uh, it's 4-1. Ryan Morris. So this will probably be the final kick of the game. Indeed it is. Final score has been Newport County 1, Manchester City 4. And uh, Pep Guardiola and uh, Michael Flynn exchange words, a uh, little chat together, and uh, Phil Foden uh, shakes hands with the uh, the Newport players. Were you able to enjoy that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did you make of the game? Well, tough, real tough. So... What they do, they do incredible. So every, they attack the channels, long balls with Matt. And the second balls, they are they are physically strong, and uh, every throw in, every free kick is always dangerous because they train a lot and they do it really well. Of course, in the if you want to play in the way you want to play with the grass today, it was difficult. Everything is one second slower, slower, and that's why it's a little bit more difficult. The first 20 minutes we suffer because we need time to adapt. After that, I think we finished quite well the last 20, 25 minutes. Pat, Pat, what did you make of the atmosphere and the occasion? Because yeah, it's yeah. one of Newport's biggest <coughs> ever days. I'm quite surprised. Yeah. Um, uh, the support of the team was incredible. Uh, chanting, who are you, who are you, was nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, it was nice. Nice, good atmosphere. So, English football, so. The cup is like this, so I, I understand completely why Leicester or Middlesbrough suffer a lot in this stadium. I understand completely. Yeah, first half, nil-nil, half-time, you must be very pleased. That was brilliant, <laughs> especially after watching them last week. They were 4-0 up after 24 minutes uh, against a, a much bigger club than us. So, look, it's, there's nothing but you know, uh, you know, happy, happy memories and getting to share the touchline with Pep Guardiola <coughs> was, was magical for me. What did he say to you afterwards? said you should be proud, he said you're doing a fabulous job um, and good luck and hopefully just get to see him now but I think they just had to shoot off. Right, what do you kind of take from the FA Cup run as a whole apart from the financial side? Look, there's, there's so many good memories for not just the, the football club, but, you know the fans who come over, you try and get that generation back that we lost which I keep going on about um, and I think we're doing that because that atmosphere today was electric. It was absolutely superb, and you know you want to play, uh, you want to play in front of that a lot more. <coughs> there, gets it back to Butler. Butler plays it into Wilmot. Wilmot plays it inside, but it's a poor one from Wilmot. Goes to the second ball, doesn't get there. Wilmot does get there. Brilliantly beats one player. Plays it in. There's a chance, Franks. One yeah. nil. And Fraser Franks has scored for County through a crowd of bodies. goals this season. He's looking to get into the 20s now as Wilmot plays a beautiful ball across. And it's 2-1. And it's Jamil Mart. It's Jamil oh. Mart. And it's Amond who's put it across, headed it across to him. In it goes. Long into the box. It's Dimitrio. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it's me. Yes. It's in. It's there overhead and it's, kick. it's an overhead kick and once Matt. again it's Jamil Looks and plays the ball into that channel where there's Jamil Matt who turns beautifully. He gets the ball in. Oh. Four yes. one. 
and it's Amand and he's got his goal. Jamil Mapp, the provider, it's a beautiful cross and wow. Amand has met it with a glorious header oh. in the 47th minute. We talked about the 20th goal of the season so 15 seconds ago and it's arrived. Matt goes and heads it, goes to the second ball and again he heads it back and it's with Labadee, shoots, oh, oh. hit the post, how that wasn't 5-1, I'll never know, he's hit it from 30 oh, yards. Matty Dolan then will take the left wing corner for Newport County. Takes it in short though to uh, Dimitru, back again from Dolan, into the box. And it's stabbed in by Aziz. And the goal in the 14th minute, Adebayo Aziz gets his first Newport County goal. Finds Amond. Back again to Wilmot and then to Sheehan. Crossed in, the heads go up and it's stabbed away by Podrick Avond. Newport County are 2-0 up and that is Podrick Avond's 13th league goal of the season, 21st overall. Free kick on the far touchline for Carlisle, 10 yards inside the Newport half. Granger takes it into the area, well taken. Penalty. Day. Referee has given a penalty for O'Brien. O'Brien leaning on. So it's Granger against Day away to our left. It's 2-0 to Newport against Carlisle. Will Granger put them back in the game? In comes Granger. Two Day saves Day. it. He punches it away. And Sheehan gets the ball forward. Amond inside the area, flicks it over the top, and it's there! Newport County, Podrick Hammond! Mick McCarthy may not want him, but Newport County fans, they love him! And he puts County in front! And you've got a, a break now, haven't you, with the international and all them off? Right, I haven't got a Legoland tomorrow. All <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pick the bad weekend, honestly. It's... Uh, it's a bad one. My missus has really well and truly done me over this weekend. Into the box it goes, headed 1 0, and it's there. And it's Polygamond who's got it. Wilmot's right footed corner goes long. He finds Butler, and Dan Butler takes it inside. He shoots, headed in 2 0, and it is Jamil Matt with a second for County. It's Jamil Matt with a second. Finds Wilmot on this side. Wilmot back to Butler. Butler plays it beautifully, played to Wilmot. Wilmot plays it in to McCurdy. McCurdy 3-0, McCurdy, and McCurdy's run behind the goal, he's put it to the goalkeeper's left, McCurdy has been on the pitch literally about 25 to 30 seconds, and he's played it low and hard to the goalkeeper's left. In it comes from Dolan, swinging in, and it's up there, and it's in the net! And it's that man, Mickey Dimitro! 
But uh, County win it back with Wilmore. Plays the ball forward and Matt is on the run now. Into the box. Through the legs of Murphy. Newport 2, Bury 1, 14th minute goal. Newport right. 16 minutes to go. In comes the corner. It's headed forward by Kennedy. Headed away. Kennedy gets it again. Finds the oh, yes! Yeah. There was no stopping that, it was supersonic blasted into the back of the net in the 75th minute by Mickey Dimitru, his second goal of the game. Well we are with a team, you know, I, I've spoken to them in there, they know what I think. Um, to a man, every single one of them were excellent and if we're going to do this, we all got to do it together so we'll worry about the individuals after the end of the season. Yeah, definitely, it's, um, it's been fantastic in my time at the club, the support that the fans fans bring. I um, said to Eddie on, when I came off, the fans seem to have a song for almost every player so it shows how much their support um, is, is for the players and it means a lot because some clubs you go to you probably don't get that many, you probably don't get them singing your name so it's brilliant to, <coughs> excuse me, to see and to hear their support definitely because it helps you kick on a little bit more um, and, and the boys in there definitely are playing, playing for the fans as well. Will you please welcome the champions of League Division 2, Lincoln City FC. Here it comes. Caught up in the wind, you feel, as uh, it falls to Butler, who puts it away back downfield. Ball gets uh, headed forward by Kean Bolger. And Dolan then finding Amond into the area. Amond goes on, takes it to the byline, crosses back, shot comes in, and it's there. Scott Pennett puts Newmore County in front in the seventh minute. And we're over the four minute mark. And there's the whistle and Newport County have beaten Lincoln City. The promotion dream is still on. Bring it on Tuesday night against Oldham Athletic. I thought my boys were fantastic. They stood up to everything that Lincoln threw at them. Um, and I've got to give credit to Lincoln for them being champions and still giving their you know, the amount of effort and commitment that, that they give just goes to show why they are champions um, because they keep going to the end and, you know, that's a huge, huge win for us. And it'll be uh, Chris Misselu who'll uh, get the first touch on the ball in the centre circle. Waits for the referee to blow his whistle, which Mr Hicks does. And we're away. Far side to Newport, ten yards inside their own half. Poole takes it infield, and there is the whistle for the break. And at the break, it's Newport County nil, Oldham Athletic nil. In it comes towards O'Brien who gets a header on it but only flicks it out but Dolan's there plays it back across to Dimitro he puts it into the middle up they go and it gets cleared away and Oldham have got another player down in the penalty box Matt lines it up and it's a goal Patrick Avon scores 48 minutes the leading goal scorer the man you want in situations like that but Oldham had uh, George Edmondson flat down on the ground when the referee said that the goal would stand. Joe Day and his all green strip will take it. High into the Oldham area. Headed away. But not very far. Oh, Shot from yes! Bobby Wilmot! Bobby Wilmot has made it 2 0. 79th minute. Robbie Wilmot struck it to that near post and County now lead by two goals to nil 
still we play and that is the whistle and Newport County have beaten Oldham Athletic by two goals to nil and move into seventh position the last playoff place and now they go into the final game at Morecambe next Saturday knowing that if they can win that one they'll definitely be in the playoffs well, Mike, you've got it down to one win gets you the playoffs. Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement. You know, 70 points. <laughs> one, one win, does it? Um, but I'm not getting carried away at all. I've been in the game too long uh, to, to know if you get complacent. I think you've cracked it. Get quickly reminded uh, with a slap in the face. And just said to the players then, don't you think anything's done? All we are is down to one game and we've got to make sure that we're at their best on Saturday because Morecambe are um, they're a team in form, they've got an excellent manager and assistant manager in Jim and Ken McKenna because the job they do year in year out, I think they're fantastic. Do you know what, Like I was only literally just saying, my friends threw over from Dublin at the weekend and they were wondering why my beard was so long and I just said well, I said we're on the same momentum run and we're on the same pushing for something at the end of the season and I said I'm gonna just give it a go and see what happens and obviously it goals at the popping up now so I think I'm gonna to have to keep it. Yeah. Hell of a long trip. Um, but I guess your message to the supporters is take over the Globe Arena, I guess. Yeah, just you know, if we can take as many as we can and, and make the Globe Arena amber and black and make as much noise as we can then hopefully we can go there and get the job done for them. But Lavelle wins it for the home side, but Dolan wins it back, hooked forward by Bennett. But Ole just launches the ball long and it's bouncing well for Collins and Collins shoots and Collins scores against County, would you believe it? Aaron Collins in the 21st minute as under. Mickey Demetrio, Butler comes short. Will he go quickly? Yes, he will. Back to uh, Butler, steadies him some. He crosses it. Yes, yes, it's Jamil Mart. Jamil Mart has scored. Right at the far post, it is Jamil Matt who's got the goal, and the fans are going mad. It is Jamil Matt who's got it.
it's picked up by McDonald who breaks away plays it away to the left hand side where Mellis will pick it up Hamilton going outside of him Hamilton shoots and it's there and Mansfield go in front through CJ Hamilton McDonald to play this in with his left foot and it comes into the area and it on the oh, yeah. goal save by the goalkeeper saved it from Matt and scooped it behind for a corner to Newport all headed for by like Wilmot Sweeney was uh, all over him, but here's Tyler Walker he's free from the edge of the area he goes round he must score great play Ricky Dimitro a back there clears it away Regan Poole uh, collects comes forward with the ball over the halfway line crossed into the middle Matt in space on the area shoots Logan took it in away the county have got it in no they haven't Podrigan on put the ball in the back of the net but the flag was up and then hits it long left footed downfield headed on in front of goal Aziz and it's a penalty for Newport brought down by the goalkeeper yep so Hammond on the edge of the area and he comes right footed saved by the goalkeeper and this time it's put in Hammond puts it in, in. Hammond puts the roof ball in it's 1-1 one, one. 83rd minute with the free kick and there's the whistle and it finishes at one apiece in a battling second half performance by Newport as ever your kind of home support was was unbelievable and I I get the sense that your players probably feel like it really is, I know it's a cliche, but it really is half-time because momentum-wise you were getting stronger and stronger as the, as the match went on. Yeah, we were. And you're right to mention the Craigs, they were fantastic. Having a full ace with Rodney Parade is always a good experience. Um, the boys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, that's 11 games unbeaten for us now. I'm not sure how far off a club record or anything that is, but I'm sure it must be one in the Football League. Jamil Matt, can he uh, find, he can, and Shane, Shane shoots, and it's a very good save, low down from Conrad Logan, that was destined for the bottom corner from about uh, 28 to 30 yards, he did well there, Joe Day, forward he goes, kicks it long, as, uh, oh he's going forward, Matt, it's into a Mont, oh he's put it wide of goal, what a chance for Porrigan Mont. He should have scored. Wow. This really is an amazing match so far. Ball and the keeper. Bennett heads it into the area. It's hit the crossbar. Unbelievable. Again, County have hit the crossbar twice in this first half. Back he goes to Dan Butler. Dan Butler crosses it. Sheehan. Oh, he's hit the bar. Sheehan's hit the bar. Wow, that was so close. It's a goal kick. The referee blows his whistle, it's Dan Butler, it's Butler, always oh, headed over from Amand and a chance goes again. Four chances in this first half for County, two at the bar, two minutes out of time, they could be out of sight. And the free kick will be whipped in for Benning, it goes into the box, and a brilliant save from Joe Day. And that's time the County have made the brilliant save, but it's Hamilton, he, he can come back on, and Joe Day saves it. Well played, Joe Day. A brilliant save from Day. Bennett, who does brilliant against Mellis. Scott Bennett. Oh, he's hit the bar from about 35 yards. 84 minutes. Ball comes back and Mansfield regain possession. They get it. And McDonald pu uh, pushes one forward. And, and there's a chance here. It's Walker. And he's grabbed it wide of goal. Could you believe it? There was Mansfield's chance. What a chance to bury that. The throw in is deep into the area. Out it comes. Sheehan is going to be onto this. Sheehan takes it wide. And he looks to cross it. He's got the ball. Oh, cross goal. Wow. Just a cross. I thought that was going to curl in for a second. And he can pick a pass out. If he switches play, there could be a problem. Hamilton, will he keep it in? The answer is yes, he will. And Day saves it. And off the line. 
Wow! It's with Benick, and they've done it off again. The line. Wow! Off the oh, line. The kick. Regan Twice. Paul, fantastic defending from the Welshman. Unbelievable! Off the line. Oh my goodness me! It's going to go to. Is it going to go to pounce? The referee's taking a look at his watch. As soon as this throw-in is taken, I reckon that's it. It is it. It's penalties. It's going to penalties. Here we go. Dan Butler to take it. It's Conrad Logan. Scores! He scores. It's 1-0. Ricky has it was in here. Jose against Day. Jose against Day. 1-1. Well taken penalty. They're booing Amond. Amond against Logan. One all on penalties so far. Scores! 2-1. Hamilton against Day, the referee happy, the ball is on the spot. Here we go. Mansfield's second penalty. Two all. Straight down the middle. Take your time, Mickey. Take your time. Mickey Dimitro against Conrad Logan. Three two. He scores. It's a fantastic three two. penalty. It's three two to the count. Who's taking this one for Mansfield? He's saved it! He's saved! Joe Day is saved! He's saved it! Oh my goodness! It's Regan Paul! It's delirium in the away end, by the way. Two penalties left each. It's Regan Paul against Conrad Logan. He scored! 4 2. He scored! They've Regan got Paul. to score. They have to score. It's Benning, isn't it? It's Benning. Against Day. Oh my gosh, he's off both posts and in. Off, he's lucky there, 4 3. Off both posts and in. Hang on a second. Yeah, it is. Come on, Matty, keep Take your nerve. Keep your nerve, Matty Dolan, keep your nerve. Dolan. He's yes! He scores! Yes! It's unbelievable! Unbelievable! CJ and Matthew Golan is taking He's taken the ball back to the AFC to Wembley for the final of the League Two. County have won it! 5-3 on penalties! Unbelievable! The penalties! Oh my goodness! Dolan has done it for County! They are at Wembley! It is unbelievable! County win it on penalties! Tim? You wow. couldn't write this sort of thing, could you? Wow. Look at the party in the away end now. It is unbelievable. What was that incredible band? County are going Wembley, to Wembley, Tim. County are at Wembley on Saturday, <laughs> the 25th of wow. May, where they will play the winners of Tramia Rovers or Forest Green <laughs> Rovers. It is unbelievable. What a game. Every penalty was struck brilliantly, oh. and Joe Day has done the classic save from the striker Walker. Unbelievable, Ben. I'm going to go, Tim. I'm going to go. I'm going to too. Wonderful. And I am going to come with series. you if I may. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody, watch television, yes. see it all, and we are back at Wembley Stadium. I will be there. Ben will be there on the 25th. Three o'clock kickoff. See you there. I hope you've enjoyed it, everyone. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Tim. Enjoyed, everyone. Very goodbye to you all.
energy, um, emotion must be pride, is it? It's, it's yeah, it's, it's huge. I'm gonna have to buy a new suit now. I might get a bright, <laughs> I might get a black and amber suit for, uh, for Wembley. Um, but yeah, something like that. I look like dumb, you know, dumb and dumber. Me and hats are going to blue and an orange with. Yeah, I mean, the gaffer said that all five penalty takers got the position they wanted, so clearly you were confident that you wanted to take last. Yeah, yeah, I called myself for last. Um, my old man won't be happy, he always says, don't take the fifth, but it was, um, yeah, it was pretty settled. I had my missus and uh, all my family behind me in the crowd, um, and obviously everyone watching at home, so it was nice to, uh, nice to slide it away, but yeah, like I said, I backed myself, I wanted the fifth, and uh, yeah, nice bit of uh, history for us. Yeah, word on those fans behind you at the end, they were, uh, they were incredible. Yeah, amazing, the whole the whole game, whole 90 minutes, the whole of extra time, through the penalties, they were amazing. The whole season they've been brilliant. Yeah, over a thousand was there, um, but that, that's amazing to get on an away following on a Sunday, incredible. As a, as a local lad, what does this mean not just to the club but to the whole community? Oh, it's huge. It's huge for the community. You know, uh, you look at the work Norman Parcel does, and again, this is where it goes back to the to getting us. It's not just you know, what the football team do. It's what Norman Parcel does in the community. It's what all the you know the businesses who sponsor us, um, the commercial part. It's, it's everything because you know when you look back and the fans all chipped in and raise the money to buy the football club you know, it's, it's an unbelievable gesture and an effort so you know, we're in this together you know I, I'm sure um, I'm sure everybody will appreciate me saying that but it's, it's fact well, because you know the world and this water was here for Man City and Leicester and, and all that so the build up to that everyone was used to um, so now, now we're just looking forward to, to Saturday and, and you know, just want to give it everything we can and, and hopefully that's enough for us on the day. Yeah, it'd be special. I think, um, like I said, I think you've got to ride the wave. Um, I think it's a special kind of bond we've got with the whole place, the whole of Newport, obviously not just the squad. Um, we've sort of brought it together and everyone's feeling good about it. So we're pretty chill going into it and we just want to go out there, leave nothing out there, give everything for the club, for for the whole of the place and, and obviously I think everything else will take care of itself. I do honestly think for what's happened in this two and a half years I think a lot of this squad, if not the whole squad, will go down in some sort of history for Newport because I think through the heartache that this club probably has been through over previous years more and more, I think for what we've done in the last two and a half years has basically put Newport back on the map. Yeah, because it's it's going to be very very interesting. These first 20 minutes again will uh, will be very interesting. Neither side will want to give anything away, will they? In this opening half, in the Tramere half, in comes the cross. Oh, and Matt sticks out. Well, he couldn't have been any nearer, could he? 
It's got to go down as a chance, but uh, the ball went a little bit too quickly for him. Um, such a shame because that could have been a golden opportunity. And now there is danger here against County. They're coming forward and Caprice is going wide and he's going to get this ball. And he's going to get the chance to cross it, which he does. A chance. Oh, well saved, saved by Joe. By Joe Day there from uh, Norwood. It was a great instant reaction save. But the problem came with Caprice. He found Norwood and it was a smart volley. Right foot of corner, it goes short into oh, the box, they tried corner. to work something but it was poor, but out it goes and it's with Paul, Paul plays it over to the far side, Demetrio heads it back, finds Wilmot, Wilmot, back he goes to Butler, Butler crosses it, it's a beauty into oh, there, Brian. Oh, oh what a chance, it's gone, it was just the wrong side of Podrigham on Amont. when the ball fell, it went right behind him, if he turned on that, that surely would have been a goal scoring chance, looking to cross it but uh, Root being blocked but he gets the cross over eventually and then it comes back in again now on the edge of the area appeals for a penalty from the Tramia players nowhere near not given player went to ground again they're going down very easily Charlie I, yeah. I hate to say it but they are going to ground very very easily Paul with the throwing down the line Right house, but only as far as Wilmot, who spreads play to the far side. Good ball from Wilmot, finds Butler. Butler, can he run run at them? He's got Morris. Takes it wide and Morris, he crosses into the middle. That! Oh! oh! That's the nearest county have come! He's hit the post, hasn't he? Was that yeah. the post or the goalkeeper? Yeah, the, it's a mixture. The, the, the goalkeeper touched it onto the post. I think he did. But Matt with the... And it's a wonderful, glorious header. County so nearly, nearly scored. Oh wow, that was so close. Area down the middle it goes. Ball is uh, played forward. Robbie Wilmot back to Paul, and Regan Paul heads it forward. He's going to save this ball from going out. He plays it forward, and uh, referee says play on, and they're playing it through. It's with Dolan. It's with Amand. Amand. He shoots, and, oh. the, and Davis saves it. But he didn't get enough on it, Amand there. Demetrio with the throwing in it goes to me it's Jamil Matt he turns oh he's gone down oh he's, he's hit the, the post. post that's incredible surely that was a penalty I thought that was a penalty I thought the player was tripped and the referee is given a give, free kick he's given an offside given offside Well, I thought there, that's a massive decision. Let's have a look at it. What a massive decision. <laughs> Ball is in. Uh, to oh, he's... Oh, oh, penalty! And the referee won't give it. He was pulled down by McNulty. And the referee's given the free kick the other way. I thought that was a penalty. It's going to be a card for uh, O'Brien, and he's sent off. Second yellow, and he's off. Would you believe it? O'Brien is sent off for a second yellow card. Oh, this really is uh, difficult as Buxton plays it to the far side. Again, it's with Caprice. Caprice, he's got Buxton overlapping. Caprice plays it to Buxton, he's got space, he's got Backinson, he beats Backinson easily, takes it into the box, he plays it back, back it comes, they've got space to work it here, in comes the ball, it's there, and they've scored, would you believe it, Tramia Rovers have Connor scored. Connor Jennings, in the 29th minute of added time, the Newport defence for once caught flat-footed, Uh, game is over. Tramia Rovers are promoted to League One, courtesy of the goal in the 29th minute of extra time. The Newport players are bereft with the way the result has turned out.